I'm Angela Lee, author of the Bella Santini Chronicles. I'm here to talk to you today about five ways that as parents, you can raise children who are both emotionally and mentally healthy. The first way, and this is really important, you as the parent must model emotional maturity in order for your children to exhibit emotional maturity. This means that you need to model positive emotional coping skills. You need to be able to face your most painful feelings and deal with it without having to numb and escape from that feeling. If you teach your children these coping behaviors, you are equipping them to lead an emotionally resilient life. Number two, validate their feelings. How many of us remember being told by our parents, they're there, don't cry, or even turn that frown upside down. These messages that your feelings do not matter are actually detrimental. We need to be able to give kids messages like, hey, I bet that doesn't feel good. Or, I understand, I would feel the same way. By validating their feelings, we're telling them that they are allowed to feel what they're feeling, which is a very powerful message to give your child. Number three, encourage problem solving. Hey, I know what it's like to be a parent, and I know that my first instinct was to rush in and try and solve that problem for my kids so they didn't have to deal with it. But that approach actually is not a learning environment for your children. When you can step back and ask questions that help them come up with a solution, then you are actually helping them learn problem-solving skills and critical thinking. And those skills are very important in life. The fourth one, praise their efforts. In a world where we're taught that there's black and white, right and wrong, Children need to know that when they make mistakes, they're actually having a learning experience. It's an opportunity to tweak and try again. If we only praise their outcomes, we are telling them that it's black and white, that it's win and lose, that it is pass and fail. But when we praise their efforts, we tell them, persistence pays off, keep going. We give them encouragement. Number five, help them to see that a window opens when a door closes. When children are faced with crisis situations, death in a family, wildfire, other situations where they can't quite make sense of what's going on. If you take the perspective that there's always an opportunity for something new when something else goes away, then you are teaching your child not necessarily to look at the world through Pollyanna glasses, but to be open to the possibility that even a bad situation can bring something good into their life. 